letting down some air in the tires because we're going to be doing a lot of dirt road traveling <laughs> the next few days. Welcome back. Last week we drove from Exmouth to Karajini National Park and spent the week exploring the most beautiful trails and swimming holes Australia has to offer. It really was one of the most memorable weeks we've had on the trip so far. Yeah, absolutely loved our time there. Definitely recommend. And this week we are at Karajini's lesser known sibling just off the road, and by just off the road, I mean 170 kilometers, <laughs> called Millstream Chichester National Park. We'll be here for the next few days exploring the area, so we're going to take you along. Now we set up, ready to just have a nice relaxing afternoon. Not a whole lot going on, but it's been a pretty full-on week that we had in Karajini, so it's quite nice to just sort of hang out and relax a little bit, because then tomorrow we've got Camel Trail, which is in the National Park. So we've got a bit of a drive in the morning, then we're going to check out some really beautiful sites for a 16k return hike. So I just opened our drawer. Look at how much dirt there is. Look at everything is just cut. <gasps> everything is covered in dirt. Oh my gosh. <gasps> we're never going to get rid of it. What? <laughs> There's more of an inbounds than outside. Seriously? It's another cold morning. Yeah. It's been like, because we are obviously in the desert and it is winter, it is very chilly. Mm. Come first thing in the morning. So, no need to be up too quick. No. <laughs> We're staying at um, the Stargazer's car park. Car park. <laughs> Stargazer's campsite. Um, there's only two... There's two campsites really close to each other here. And then where Python Pool is and the hike is in, is in like a separate part, which is still like half an hour away or something, maybe even a bit more. Um, and I believe there's one campsite out there, but it's four wheel drive only. And I'm not really that keen to see how far we can push Vance. So <clears throat> we'll just drive there. And then we've got another night booked here again tonight. So then we'll be able to come back here, just relax, and then head off the next day. I'm excited. Let's get this day going. You. All right, made it to Python Pool. How about that drive in, Glenny? Yeah, that was pretty bad, actually. Yeah, that corrugation pretty was terrible so bad. No speed could override that either. We tried. And then it randomly turned into a really beautiful sealed road. Oh my God. It was magic. <laughs> that drive in was insane. It was so pretty. But for like a good few Ks, it's just bad yeah. corrugation. So we're going to suss out Python Pool first and then commence the hike. It's already so hot. We really should have got up earlier. <laughs> yeah. It's so hot. All right, it's already stinking hot. And to be honest, we're over it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot of walking around to look at stuff and like, I don't know, I'm just not that impressed. No, the drive was really pretty, but I think it just sort of, that's sort of it. Like the whole, the whole area is really beautiful to see. But I think we're just gonna um, try and find our way to the top of Python Pool which has this cool little individual pool that spills into the main area. Uh, so we're going to go on a bit of an adventure to try and find that and then... Hopefully go for a cool dip. Yeah, and then just enjoy it. It's a beautiful day, it's just so stinking hot. Probably got a few k's in and it's just sort of... It's all sort of the same. I just feel like it's... We're on a treadmill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So not really... I don't know. We're not like super duper avid hikers without there being like a main goal or like main sort of peak to reach or something. So I'm sure for a lot of people that love just hiking in general, this is still excellent. But for us, 
Just wasn't tickling that fancy too much. We need a bit more purpose behind our hikes, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. So, let's see if we can find this cool spot above Python Pool. So we're just sort of going up what looks like a makeshift trail. Hopefully get our way up to the top. Figure it out. Thought it'd be easier to get to the top because we've seen a lot of photos from the top. But, to be honest, the trails themselves don't seem very well man maintained up here. So this could be a trail. Looks pretty similar to the other one we were just on. I think we're almost there. This is definitely a trail of some sort. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> it's definitely been walked this way before, but such a cool view. I found it! Glenn's blending in. So I think we just keep walking down that way and then we can see Python Pool from the top. This is so pretty. so refreshing and no one here which is amazing definitely worth going off the beaten track yeah big time don't yeah. ruin nature of but, course but um yeah there was somewhat of a track that we had to follow up and over just on the rocks and stuff so yeah it was good it is known as like somewhat of a secret spot so i'm not going to say exactly how to get here but you can but <laughs> it is possible it's like really refreshing in the water, but really hot outside. So it's yeah. sort of it's like, you're either yeah. really, really hot or really cold. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll probably just hang out here and then make our way back down to Vance and have some lunch. Back down the bottom, take a little bit of lunch. And we'll go to the main python pool itself. Let's we'll enjoy it. Have a bit more of a dip after hiking back. Cause it is so hot. I'm not sure if we said this before, but it's only like, 100 meters from the car park to Python Pool itself, which is just great. So you can just pull up, go for a dip. Had a lovely little dip at the bottom. And what, now we're just making our way back to camp? Yeah, back to camp. Yeah, going over those dreaded corrugations I'm not looking forward to. No. <laughs> But it was beautiful there. I think if you, especially if you are keen to go on a little explore up to the top pools, the top pool area was probably our favorite, but the bottom pool is beautiful it's still. It's beautiful, yeah. And it's such a refreshing dip. And you're in the middle of just nowhere, <laughs> which is yeah. crazy. Like, it's just such a magical area. So, yeah, very, definitely recommend that area. But now, camp and some ginger beers are calling our name. Oh, yeah. Back to camp. Biggest tragedy of the trip. We had a little box here that held our speakers and just like some knickknacks and stuff and that just the second we started going on the dirt road it just fell apart. Which is such a bummer because this thing was great. And it was from our original build. Yeah and this little guy here we just oh lasted us forever. It was like two dollars from Ikea and just fits so perfectly but I don't really know if there's a way to fix this. Maybe with some glue or something, but... Ah, uh, the joys of cor as well. corrugation. Yeah, that's the only thing. True, I guess, if, well, that we know of so far. Yeah, we'll have to <laughs> tighten a few screws, I think. Yeah. But. Oh, get me a ginger beer, hey? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, how good. Mm. We always crave these, Bundaberg's. So but the, the diet version, because the regular ones are so sweet. Mm. But they're just, oh, cold, refreshing. So good. On a hot day after a hike, nothing better, hey? Nothing better. Gotta stay out of that sun. Yeah. We have received so much Right. Today. Oh, boy.
Yes. Good morning. Morning. Look at us all rugged. Oh, it's chilly in the mornings. It's so nice though. It's a nice break because the days are so warm. Have our coffees on us. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have our coffees in us. And then we're going to go check out Deep Reach. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, Deep Reach Pool. It's one that's close. I think it's like 2Ks from the campsite. Um, but it's on the way out of the park for us. So we'll just have a nice relaxed morning. We're in no rush to get anywhere. We decided before we head off, we're going to make pancakes. <laughs> pancakes. So my mom sent me in like a care package this mini thing of syrup from Wisconsin. I don't know why. We're not from Wisconsin. <laughs> I've never been. I don't think my mom's ever been. I don't know why I have it, but it's so cute. Yum. Yum. It's big, all right. Wow. It's quite beautiful. No, I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty gross. It is incredibly beautiful. It's very peaceful. Yeah. And like palm trees and everything. It's stunning. So yeah, it really is an oasis in the desert. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty crazy to just think it just sort of pops up because you're in such a deserted open area for so long. Like the amount of driving we've done the last few days. Yeah. And it's just open nothingness. And then you see this massive... Then you just <laughs> plonk this in the middle of it. It's quite cool. But I don't really think it's that worth for a swim. If it was really hot, probably. But still quite cool in this morning air. I think that's sort of... They're like the main things to do here. I think there are a number of little hikes about, but I don't really think they're that worth it. Yeah, the main attraction for this national park is Python Pool. You Which can you can understand why. why. <laughs> But other than that, it is like a nice escape um, and good like camping experience and stuff. Um, but I'm glad, I'm glad we saw it, but I think now we are going to start making our way to Karatha. Yeah, head our way up to Karatha, which is only about an hour and a half away from here. Yeah, and it's on the coast, so we'll be back on the coast we'll be back again. on the coast. I don't know if you can tell, but we're really dragging out this whole uh, slowly making our way back to Exmouth thing, and that is because... It's the middle of the school holidays and Exmouth is like the absolute peak of all peaks when it comes to everyone going there for school holidays. And we've got a couple of friends there and it sounds manic. So yeah. we're sort of thinking about just, we're just taking the long way. Hence, no rush to really do anything, which is quite different to how we've traveled more recently, but it's actually kind of nice to just sort of cruise a bit. So we're twiddling our thumbs all and slowly thinking about making our way back to Exmouth, but a few more things to see on the way. Definitely food for thought though, if you are um, coming either from the south, so the way we came, because often obviously you're doing a full lap or if you're coming from the north, um, it's not a bad idea actually coming through Mill Stream. Python Pool is definitely worth checking out, um, but I wouldn't say to like hang out here for a few days. It's sort of the main thing to see. Now we have been told that the drive north of Python Pool is really, really insanely beautiful. But we had to come back to camp for another night and then our fuel's probably not looking like we can handle the detour. So we may actually go to Karatha and then probably check out this scenic drive as well. Because if it is really pretty, we'll show it in this episode, if it is really pretty, um, it would be the ultimate way to sort of come from the north all the way down. You'd go through the scenic drive, poke your head into Python Pool and then follow the dirt roads down to Karajini and Hammersley Gorge and then, do, and then start your Karajini trip there, which... I think it would be really, really fun yeah. over a couple of days if it's as beautiful as they say, but we just can't risk it with the fuel that we've got on board. So we'll show you that a little bit later on. But right now, enjoy this peaceful little spot and then make our way to Karatha. So had a very productive day. We basically put all of our life admin stuff jam-packed into one day just to get it over with. So we're in the town of Karatha. Started off the day just doing our laundry. Everything was just covered in a big layer of red dust. <laughs> if you've been to Karajini or just this general area, you know exactly what I'm talking about because everything is just so dirty. Um, so we prioritized doing some laundry and then we went grocery shopping. So we're gonna be doing a pretty big meal prep right now. Um, just shopping for the next few days. 
and then went to the library. Carafa actually has a really fancy library, probably one of the fanciest libraries we've seen on our trip, um, just to get some work done, charge some things, do some more admin stuff on that end. And now we are at a free camp off the side of a highway. We saw it when we were driving past into town. It's just a massive plot of land. Basically anyone can just sleep anywhere. Um, so it works for us. Now, what are we making meal prep? We're doing veggie like stir noodle, fry. Noodle stir fry. Noodle stir fry thing. Basically it's the same as we have regularly, but yeah. with we, noodles. Yeah. <laughs> We're very basic when it comes to meal prepping stuff. I wouldn't even call this a meal prep just for the few, next few days, but I'm going to get to chopping. Glenn's going to get to cooking. It's going to be a good day. Look at this food. Yum. Yum. Basically just a big mix of veggies. Throw in some chickpeas, tofu, and egg. And noodles. And noodles. And noodles. <laughs> and nudes. Nudes. Nice. Oh, and like we have a really nice power line view. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Good morning. Just did a bit of movement, a little workout. It's already so hot, so that didn't last very long. Um, and now we're going to the Karatha Leisure Plex, which is a little aquatic center. Go for a swim and a shower. A lot of the times we'll search for these leisure centers over caravan parks for showers because you can often use the amenities, especially on a day like today when it is so hot. So we're gonna go for a dip, have a shower, and then head to the library and get more work done. Very exciting day. Woo! Woo! How good is this view? Wow! Got even closer to the power lines tonight. Woohoo! It's a nice power line. So it turns out we had way more stuff to do at the library, so we basically just put in a really big stint there this afternoon. And now we're just back at our lovely free camp. Cooking up some din dins for the night. Sort of like a pretty common thing with living on the road, I guess, is pretty <laughs> indicative of what we've shown you. Going to places like Python Pool and stuff and just living it up. And then when you got to catch up with Life Admin, you just got to catch up with Life Admin. <laughs> The uh, ebbs and flows of living on the road, but time to get some of this into us. Have a nice night, and then tomorrow morning, I think we're just gonna get up and head on over to that um, scenic drive that we were talking about that leads into the back end of Python Pool. Don't really know anything about it, but as I said before, we're just sort of avoiding school holidays a bit further south, so might as well go for a bit of an experience. Taking vans for a little bit of a little bit of an off-road jaunt. Heard about a place called Black Hill Pool, which is where we've just arrived to now, where there's like a little bit more of an off-road track to get to. Yeah, because it's cool, but it's stagnant water and it looks kind of muddy, so it doesn't look very refreshing. No, and it's really hot out. If there was more water in it, for sure, but yeah. I'd say it's been sitting here a while. Mm. Still a really cool drive it's and stuff, sick, though. Yeah. Definitely worth doing. Um, but now I think we'll probably just have lunch and maybe go back to Python Pool for a dip because, it, like yeah, I said, it's, it's really so hot. hot. <laughs> So I got really busy, as I'm sure you guys saw, but it was really cool because we got to catch up with Sarah and Keelan, who have um, who've been traveling Australia the last few months, I believe. Check out their YouTube channel somewhere here. 
Um, so we ended up basically just having a dip to cool off and then coming back to the same old free camp around Caratha, where we ended up just spending the afternoon with them, just catching up and having a nice chill afternoon. Now, I think we've sort of, we've, we've done pretty well with like waiting the school holidays out. So I think we're going to start making our way back to the coast, not well, Caratha's on the coast, but back down towards Exmouth way, because we've now got a week booked at Warra Station that we're really excited about. We've got a bunch of friends down there we're going to be meeting as well. <clears throat> In terms of Millstream Trichester National Park, it was a little bit, I was a little underwhelmed with it. Python Pool is obviously awesome, but everything else about the park was actually pretty underwhelming. The roads are probably some of the worst we've seen, um, purely just in the park. Everything's really spaced out, and there's really not a whole lot to see other than Python Pool. So I definitely wouldn't say to come for like a whole chunk of time, but it can be really cool to come through on your way through to Karajini or from Karajini. Um, I would definitely recommend poking your head in, and you can sort of... If you go through the tracks, either like the scenic drive and through, if you plan it accordingly, you can actually, over a couple of days, have a really nice time. Check out Python Pool without it being like you're just twiddling your thumbs here either. But as I said before, because it has been the school holidays, we've just sort of been waiting it out a little bit and this has been perfect for us. It's been quite nice just taking each day quite slowly and waiting it out really. So we're coming to the end, which means everything gets a bit quieter and we can go back to living it up on the coast so next week we're in Warra station who knows what that's going to bring